All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. It's new project day. Got the mechanical music box stagecoach. Evidently plays green sleeves. I finally found that last night. Look at it. Oh, let's pop her open and see what we got into. Okay, another rocker project. So I'm confident we're going to have a good time with it. They. They very rarely let me down. <clears throat> and, and, and sleeve, but no, it's, it's printed on the box. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got our wood. We got parts list, inventory. If I can get a hold of it. And, ah. Uh, Freaking poster. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's not that. It's like three staples. Come on. Make a book. <laughs> uh, oh, little teeny tiny music box thing. Oh, I forgot to turn on my light. Hang on. One more. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one that low profile before. And it's quiet too. Okay. Uh, sand and stick, baby screwdriver, sleeves, screws, a couple of shafts, and a, it's like a shim of some sort there. Rivets, wax. Hmm. These guys are back in. Uh, Sure, that's yeah, that's everything. All right. Hmm. The picture shows it in motion, so I'm curious about what's driving it because that, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> All right. Let's see here, find a good incision point. It's amazing how tough this plastic is, as thin as it is. Alright. Get our sandpaper. And then, let's see here. Not in order or anything, it doesn't look like. Lots of half sheets. Good. I guess that's... Mm -hmm. I have to put them in order myself, it looks like. Okay. Oh. Lots of smaller pieces, it looks like. That side. Decorative stuff. There's our wheels. And there's the dancing squirrel they mentioned on the. It looks more like a mouse, not a squirrel. <laughs> on the cover. Right. Okay. That's everything. So evidently, it is just a music box. It doesn't roll. Like say the. I thought I saw a video of it rolling along, but I guess not because there's no way that. This little bitty music box has, well, it says mechanical transmission too. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's under that tray. <laughs> no, nothing down there. All right, we'll just have to. Maybe this got a little more torque in it than it looks like. But I, yeah, I find hard time hard believing this one this small be able to drive that big thing. But I say we'll take a look at her when the time comes. Anyway, I'm gonna pull off the pull out the pieces for first step or two on our posters. <laughs> and, and, and 
Yeah, that's it. and if they're gonna do that, just make them smaller sheets. <laughs> you know, the posters are just inconvenient. Okay. But I'm gonna pull off the first couple of pieces of the first couple of steps and start up. Be right back with that. Okay, they're jumping right in and putting the music box in. That's good, I think. <laughs> Get my I'm too good for their their tiny screwdriver, so I got my own. What's this? Uh <laughs> all right. I noticed from Best Buy the <laughs> my package was delayed. <laughs> okay, so this goes on top. And our screws go all the way through. They don't thread into the middle. <laughs> And then into our gear. I'm going to try and conceal. Actually, <laughs> as I was about to say that, I saw the... Flip it around, try and conceal as much of the writing as I can. As long as it's not important to the, the shape of the piece. Snug, but don't strip it out. <laughs> it's on that sweet spot, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then take this guy. <coughs> this one on first. through that's gonna be okay I think I better do it this way first <laughs> get the first one in then everything else up yeah Oh, cross threaded. Hmm. Okay. Snug them all in good. This was supposed to go on here before I started, but I think I'm glad I didn't do it. Yeah, reverse threads. Okay. Oh. It says turn P2 to test the movement. I say reverse thread. No, I just hadn't done this yet. Mm. Oh. So we got our little adhesive shim dealio into there. And they say this is optional, but I don't see a reason not to use it. <laughs> you on and a whole tiny little two dead hmm. 
It's, it's got a little torque behind it. That might drive our coach. <laughs> cool. Okay. And while it's playing, I can keep going. <laughs> Take this one with our slot in it. Goes over our drive shaft. There. <laughs> and this one. In there. Okay. Whoops. I forgot a couple of pieces. <laughs> I have to grab those. But let's see. You like this? H12 goes on the, this side. There's a difference between them. I don't see any jumping out at me, but <laughs> there anyway, H12 goes over here. Oh, down there at the bottom. Okay. And H. Whoop. 14 goes on the front. But it's not lining up. <laughs> yep, gotta make sure they're facing the right direction. Okay. of the structure of our carriage and then they had to pull H4 and H5 out. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's okay. Four. This is an extra one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. They both come with extra pieces. It looks like it's got the symbol for bonus. And Little fine sand on these. This feels like it's six, seven hundred grit stick on this one. It's a really fine grit. So that's I'm finding. I find on these thin pieces, it does a really good job of just fine. Well, obviously fine sandpapers, but it does a real good job of just eating away the little. Uh, I can usually think of that word. <laughs> Burrs. Yeah, there we go. Now, so holding it like this, I want this one onto this side. All the way down. And this one on this side. Alright. And that concludes step one. And I'm going to go ahead and gripe <laughs> about the poster. If by chance rocker, anybody rocker, have them printed where the crease is here on this line rather than up here where it cuts off the numbers. <laughs> That's my, my biggest gripe with posters is poor folding because it originally came like that. <laughs> it's that close, just fold it right. <laughs> I might quit gripping about the posters by the end of this project, but I doubt it. All right, I'll be right back with step two. Okay, here we go, step two. Start with you, got our stripes on there, very light stripes, but... And then, let's see, go to the inside hole on the skinny bit. Then, take our lead and go on here and then into there and hold everything together for right there. Okay. So we got our, the front axle it looks like. 
I'm going to flip my poster over. <laughs> now we take this guy. The one with the hole goes on the inside. Okay, so it goes over that. Oh, on that solid one with our little pinstriping there. Bring you in a little bit closer, maybe. <laughs> the pinstriping or whatever you want to call that on there, the detail, the outside, and do that again. Alright. Now, get this piece, this is Hold it like this. Then with three stripes. Okay, so the stripes match up. Three stripes here, two stripes there. Two stripes and three stripes. Okay. Goes up from the bottom. There you go. And then these little guys, same thing, got the, harder to see on the, these, but they, it's got three stripes on it, and it goes in uh, here. on top of it and this one okay, so we got steering wheels there steering axle rather and this is there and then this guy And tie it all together. Okay, it went. But, mm -hmm. Okay, get another a solider one here. Okay, hang on. I got it. <laughs> this back on. Up there. everything fitting like it's supposed to. <laughs> so, yep, that's what it shows. Okay. Now, bring back our first part in here. That's our tail end. Let's go then. Okay. Okay, there it went. Okay. 
Everybody is in place, held and steady. Still got our steering axle in. Good deal. Okay. Now, this guy drops in here to tight. Make sure it stays all together. through the bottom there so that's good <laughs> all right you okay now let's tr get our trim in okay, let's go in here we should I've been noticing as I pull the pieces, they are giving plenty of spare parts. So, you know, I, with my luck, I'll, be, I'll break the one that doesn't have spare parts, but that one dropped right in like it was meant to be there. <laughs> and then our the middle goes here. I hope. Okay, yeah. Nice, easy fit. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I forgot this a long time ago. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, you go. Okay, that's recoverable. Okay. It goes up here. I think it's recoverable. <laughs> pieces on here I'm about to break. There we go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, this goes. Like I said, that was something I forgot right off the bat. <laughs> okay. Now, get our... my hand. Yep, yeah, there it went. Okay. And put our trim piece back in. Alright, now we're done. <laughs> that minor detour, but that's all part of the process. <laughs> I dig it. And that was step two. Uh, go ahead and do step three tonight, at least. And I'll be right back with that. Okay, looks like we're going to get through at least step four, I'd say. Start, but we'll see how this one goes. If I break anything and have any issues. So these two. You know, hold it like this blank side up so we don't want the lines showing here and these guys go in the back and slide up and they do not lock, lock in place they're and they're pretty loose they're slightly locked but not like hardcore and then drop this guy with the lines showing 
on top of those guys. Get them all lined up. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, finally got one side done, but there. Hmm. I should. Okay. Okay, okay, I see what it's doing there, so let's slide it back. You up in there, maybe? All the way up, and then slide you into place. All right, that locked it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we take our dancing. I say it said squirrel, but I'm pretty sure it's a mouse. <laughs> in this direction, just drop you down there, and on the bottom, take this piece, another collar, and then the big guy, hold on a second, okay, this is supposed to be the line, So, the line on there is supposed to be facing that piece. Okay. Uh, he's going to be able to jostle around as we go. Now, staying here. This guy goes in here. And then... Our branding. <laughs> oh, other side. <laughs> right here. Okay. okay, so that part's over with. Move into the axle situation here. This one, no straps on these. So. <laughs> D10 in the middle, or the yeah, on the outside on one side, middle on the other. <laughs> Let's see, we're holding it like this with our notch at the top, and D3 goes on the outside with that line to the top, it says. Mm -hmm. Now, get out. Where's it? Ah, okay. The old wood lubricant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In here. Also, on these guys.
Now, you go into here. Of course, that's going to keep our. That's a pretty loose fit, isn't that actually? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Spread it around. Okay, and we get our gear. Once again, got the line there, and it goes to the top in line with this one. Plenty. Well, <laughs> okay. And this guy goes on to our axle there, and that's what makes our squirrel. Does lock up. I'm supposed to. It doesn't say anything about throwing any lube on there, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> and then these guys into the ends here. Okay, so you're supposed to go into there. Bet. Yep, you're supposed to line those guys up with. This, yeah, so I've got, the, got that lined up on those extra axles, or the reinforcement there. Okay, and... Yeah, he bounces around a little bit. Okay, cool. And let's see, what's next? Still got to put lube on the gear, but I'm going to hold off on that for another minute or two. Okay, bring our base in. And this guy goes on to these. And that can line up with that. I hope. Okay. Okay, what you do about nothing then? <laughs> Delayed for a second, then just jump right on. Okay, let's see here. And I had a hunch that was going to happen. It felt real loose when I was putting it in. <laughs> that may be maybe time for. Yeah, that's extremely loose. I'm feeling may need to do a little gluing on that one. So. I'll do that in a second here. Let's give the dancing the effect is sort of lost if I try and hold it vertical for y'all to see. <laughs> but he hops up and down slowly. Okay, it, it is going to drive it, it looks like. Yeah, that, that's going to be the wheel, so that's, and it, even with, it's ready to walk. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, while that plays out, let's do some more. This guy here to lock that platform in place. Decoration. Okay. okay, you guys go here. And here. And this guy. Ah. Okay, on the outside holes there. Okay, yeah. I'm probably just going to use some 
of the uh, Aliens Turbo Tacky to hold our effectively license plate, number plate, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you live. And I'm going to go ahead and do that so it can set up while I'm pulling the pieces for the next part. So, let's see here. I'm going to use my Bondic tray to hold it up. There we go. Stay. And just a couple of dabs of glue on the legs. Way around, maybe. Oop, that may be too much. Let's ease you. Right. Get the handy dandies out for this, I think. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's gonna hold it. <laughs> a little bit excessive here. Let's scrape some of the excess off, maybe. Spread it out anyway. Okay. So we got a paper towel in there, sort of. <laughs> At one point, I had some Q-tips in here. Must have used them all up. Have to get some more in for stuff like this. Okay, I got it cleaned up. All right, that's all for step three. Moving on to step four. Be right back with that. Okay, on to step four. Got my lovely accordion pieces, the ones I'm always so fond of. <laughs> so I'll bring it in and put the ways in. And I think our little dot thing is, I think it's not dry yet, but it's stuck in now. <laughs> Maybe it won't fall out. And get these guys in. Let's see, so, doo -doo -doo. oh, I guess I need to make, figure out which one's which. Are they the same? They are not the same. These the holes are in different places. So I want the this one goes on the one of the holes in the middle goes on the back. Okay. Okay. And our goes into our little rails there. it down. Alright. That thing appears to be lining up. Get a little curve situation going. Yep. And <laughs> thankfully the these details do go on the outside so I did that right. <laughs> so then you see so try it from this angle maybe. So we don't have a, a mouse in the way so we should be good. Oh, I think I just realized what, where the whole mouse thing came from. <laughs> I just had a flashback to my childhood. The There was a cartoon. Had to be in the 80s. Fievel. An American tale. The animated mouse cartoon. Well, obviously animated is a cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon with the, a mouse in it and he... Fievel, and the, the sequel was Fievel Goes West, I think. All right. And that guy. Okay, so I got our floppy guys in. Now we take our carpet. You go on to the side tabs. Okay. Okay. So, getting our interior built. Okay. So now, got to build a couple of seats, which don't seem like they're going to be that tough. Famous last words. That, on top of that. Okay, so, one these guys up, facing the curve. If they don't tighten up, we're definitely going to need some more glue. <laughs> Hope this 
this end tighter. Slightly. Okay. Okay. They'll stay in long enough to get installed, I hope. And then handrails go in here. And here. Okay. One. And in front get towards the curve. Under that one. And these two. And hand rail. So. Alright. Well, that was easy enough. Now, the what I'm assuming is going to be the tricky part. <laughs> Back in there. And just use these into those slots. And I'm assuming that goes into these slots on the back. Find out. That was far less dramatic than I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> Dig it. See if this side is as cooperative. Uh -huh. I dare say even more cooperative. All right. So that's the front and the back. That gets us about that 45 minute mark. That's a well where I want to be. I think it's coming together. It's, I wasn't expecting to build this much detail right off the bat but we got that's how you got her see if I can get the see the dancing mouse <laughs> maybe <laughs> but, uh, no, it's gonna have the big gear drive on the axle so and I think it's gonna push it fine once it get wheels on it I'm got her steering up front here all right this is, yeah, like I'm pleased with that, our progress so far. Probably take, at this, if it stays at this rate, we're looking at three-day build. Because I think it's got 12 steps total, so I'm going to do four a day. That'll get us where we need to be. But, as Green Sleeves plays me out and Neo hollers at me, <laughs> I'm going to say thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. That's bye from Neo too.